one. Hello, hello. I am the great the right up. Oh, Jesus, I can't. Okay, just need to put that there. Uh, they sh you know they can hear you now, Dragon. You can speak. Ah. All right, Dragon is no longer allowed to speak. Confirmed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what? If I can't speak, you know what I can do? What? What now? What? What the fuck? Yeah, All right. I can do that. So, so here's the thing. Speak. Here's the save files. New game, new game, and new game. Ah, yay! <laughs> I got so I fucking spilled tea on myself. Oh, All right, here we go. It's a fish. This book belongs to me. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is trippy. I'm a little character thing. Oh. <laughs> I just fall into the abyss. Is it okay if I call you that? Ah. It's a bit formal, I know, but we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. It's you, Journal. <laughs> I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. <laughs> Infinite fall into the void. <laughs> All right, I'm actually gonna play for real. Actually, I got a no notification on Twitter Make that Hatchet started man. following me, cool and I was stuff. so tempted to I message can. them, uh, like you just like that one cousin. Morgan Freeman quote he with like, the screenshot rap, of it, rap, saying, "I can it. smell you." What's wrong with you? You know I'm the nervous. answer to that. Mom. My top tea drinking buddy. I don't even, I don't even have to say anymore. I can just like stare you down. Okay. <laughs> Guardian of the Biscuit Ten. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Ah I go get my tea and this. Is sure. Pinky. Ah. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Pinky. F Pinky fact actually afraid of mice. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Oh, I can place them there. Wait, I still can't get it. Oh, wait, can I pick myself up? No, I cannot. <laughs> How the fuck? Oh yeah, now I see. I'm an idiot. We told her that. We can't. I'm too short. Hey, it could happen. <laughs> this 
game's actually really cute. I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. Right, I, I have a question. What? Can I eat the watercolors? No. Starting is, is half the battle, grand. Don't worry about being good. Practice, practice. Okay, I was thinking of something else. Like, just, no, just be evil. Don't worry about being good. Start committing war crimes. Yeah. <laughs> right about. Be bright. Oh God. Worry about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. Okay, so this is a, this is like a platformer, as well as like, flick stuff. Ran always says. A writer right. writes. Oh, yeah. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Wow. Bran said writing is about exploring. Is this gonna get book. depressing? It helps you Probably. unlock your feelings. Oh. <laughs> I just moved okay, it that's over. Okay, that's clever. That... Okay, that's really fucking clever. Yeah. Now where should I start? I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. I kind of want to increase the volume of the game. About my height. At least, like... Well, not voice. Well, not music. Music's fine right now. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. That's better. <laughs> I was. <laughs> well, I guess that works. Or about my writing. Am I just randomly tearing the pages to I move? I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance. Oh God, she's British. Science fiction. Yuck, <laughs> yuck. A comedy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I do love science. A drama. Ooh. Is my humor too weird? <laughs> Is this game calling you out, Bright? Yes. Fairy tales. Yano Rama. Wait, we're guessing somewhere. Aren't those for kids? A fantasy story. Oh. Uh, Eureka, that's it. And I die into the abyss. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time. Ugh. No one said this would be easy. Ugh, Again. already boring. <laughs> From the top. And a land. <laughs> and a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Not so far away. <laughs> Right as soon as I say that, this pops up. Like the literal second. <laughs> Is the game hearing me? In the land of. Better. Astoria. Astoria. A place of peace and magic. Uh. How? How? There lived a girl named Oh. Sounds Ray sounds like a noble or spiritual. Maybe someone who confronts monsters. Georgia. Robin free like a bird. I would choose Grace, because I'm not choosing Robin to make Everyone fun of me. Fuck you. Bright <laughs> <the> color. <laughs> 
Like, do I choose red, green, or purple? Purple, because it matches one of my flags. Of her purple dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. I like how you just went dead quiet, dragon. In I'm fact, very dumb. She'd been preparing for it her whole I'm life. Aware. For she was the only Fuck apprentice. you. <laughs> village guardian. Elder Ava. Everyone was very fond of Grace. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... And she cared for others and like making fruit punch. <laughs> she, she loved learning and went nowhere without her books. Smart, playful. She was hap happily mischievous and always found something to play with. I think playful would fit me better. <laughs> Out of all of them. As playful as her. I kid you not, when I saw the three dots on that tree, I thought it was a face. And we're about to dwell on a horror story. <laughs> I don't know why I saw a face immediately. Am I the only one who sees the face? That dragon? Huh? Do you see a face in the tree? Um. Oh god, I think so. What the fuck? Okay, I'm not the only one who thought they saw a face. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. I literally thought that was a face. Oh. Wait. Are we no longer going to be in the book? Not too far away, in the land of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Grace. I thought this game was just going to be about put the book all day. She's playful. I mean, not all day, all string. Why did I say day? And imagination. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Grace. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy! Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared Grace's excitement. We should pick up my gaming oh. marbles on the way back. My mouse they is the firefly. The because I... I fought a giant with them. Right, firefly? I'm shaking no. Okay, so said uh in that way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I see. I gotta go on the other side. I'm a fucking moron. This one was the glass eye of a sea sprite. Or not? How to why is it in 3D now? Oh, it's not a face, it's a treehouse. Oh, look at her go! She's so spoingo. I gotta... I gotta be nice and quiet and sneaky to avoid death. Why? Oh, there's nothing deadly. <laughs> I'm just being a dumbass. Okay, the fact of the matter is it says up... Then arrow. Then. How do I grab you? Oh, it's shift. Well, I figured out on my own. 
This one's almost as pretty as you, Firefly. Almost. I wish I was told the controls. Yeah. Yeah. This last one's my champion. Took the giants out cold. Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit further down. What? This game is really cute. I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Grace. Careful. Grace imagined shark fins circling below. Why? That would make you f more Wait, scared. Grace knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Nearly there, Firefly. Just one more little slide. Here. We go! The old cargo lift barely used. Uh, I I questioned how that was in the ground. Secret entrance <laughs> to the village above. I, I questioned that. Wait to show her firefly the village. Maybe run on the rooftop. The village builders. Look, Firefly. If I did live in a world like this, I would actually oh. prank village people <laughs> for no reason. Warm lights <laughs> and enticing smells of Elder Ava's heart. Hey, Bright, do you want to know my favorite Knuckles quote? What? I'm gonna microwave you. Elder Ava. Happy birthday, Grace. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. That's the quote. Does this mean... Yes, it is time. I wonder what it's Would like inside of a microwave. Box, Grandma! Uh, oh, Grace well, well, here's the thing. You gotta lose both your arms and legs and you'll be fine. What? Well, I mean, you can't fit with your arms and legs, so... Go ahead. Open it. Yeah. This will store all the magic words you find. Oh, okay. Some will stay with you. Others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. What if I don't Begin want to? Shortly, dear. What if I just want to prank people? Am I am I just not allowed to prank people? Oh, before I forget, no. a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. Elsa Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Grace a gift. Ava's favorite pendant. Oh my gosh! I can actually make it my character, a ruby. Cause you know, my on my pendant is a ruby. Fuck ruby. yeah. Ruby. Now off you go. Yes. Now I is just... she gonna be crushed by soul by now? Uh, no, she's just gonna be killed. And then have her soul stuck in that amulet forever. I'm so proud of you, Grace. Oh, Grandma. 
Is grandma gonna die? Maybe. Oh. I can't wait to try out my magic. Just because you said aw, then yes. All at once, Grace was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. What motherfucker put the goddamn fucking wood in front of the goddamn bridge? Motherfucker. We should all push them off that bridge. She's got the power. Yeah, fuck your wood. Right. Grace loves throwing stones over the rooftops, but not today. Today the fire is the wood. What if I can make myself rise faster? No, I cannot. No. <laughs> Treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. Did it work? Cleared it right. And it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. It's eight ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Grace. Happy birthday. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Grace. But Grace has one. Well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. Oh, oh no. A spoiled brat. Which means, the world, if there's a spoiled the brat, that means there's a Karen. You know what? I want to try. Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to lift random shit and have it drop and be a destroyed pile. Okay, obviously I need to jump up. Rise. Rise, what? Okay, I'm not gonna finish this sentence. I told you to be careful, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> but no. But is someone joined in? Oh no, you just posted something in dumb post. Go get it. Yeah, fuck your door opener. I have magic, bitch. Wait, see the fire. Look at dumb post, right? I saw. Soon they bless her. As new village I forgot I have a phone. Good point. Anyway, anyways, when is she gonna be crushed by a rock? Uh, just said because he said that I'm gonna try and find a way to do so. I Yippee! Hope... Splat! Oh god, you skipped a word! Wait, did I? Oh yeah, I did. Cause I jumped. Yeah, cause I no. jumped, and I didn't go here. I think. I hope adventurous. No, we'll never know, bright. You gotta restart the game now. Let's swing into adventure. I, think I, I wonder move what that down. word is now. Huh. Yeah. Fuck yeah, ultimate platformer. Grace crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. Is this literally the only entrance to get there? Then how did the grandma go there? Mima is quite literally just built different. Yep. <laughs> She's tough. Alright, let me just go over here. 
The rocky cliff face posed no challenge to her now. Yo, I'm out of here. Whee! The sacred bell to announce her arrival. Bell? Hear ye, hear, hear ye, ye, hear ye. Bitch, you went on a That's I'll amazing. Suggest you owe me a coke. The tree was inside. Uh, how about I fuck you? I'm never owing you anything. God damn it. <laughs> village safe from harm. Grandma! Where's, what did you do with Fran Bo? Show them what you can do. How did she get there? That's it. They Don't worry about it. I am very worried how that old hag got there. Glowing light surrounded her. A time Is the hag a witch? The birth stars and forged suns. Now she was part of it forever. And so Grace became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. Imagine the game ends here. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, how how much did you pay Hello, for this Grandma. game? This time Two dollars, because it was on sale. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was fifteen dollars, so. It gets dark so early. Like the day. It's just an accident. And the night is how the world really works. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? I plan to someday. Glowing things are cool, especially in nature. Nature has all the cool things. But do I have to... Oh, okay. Did you know, in Breath of the Wild, you actually have to bring five uh, fireflies into a Grandma lady's house for her to, like, give you money? Oh. Oh, well. And look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it was like the I instantly died. Down. <laughs> it's like the second it's set. <laughs> and we look down. I instantly get thrown into the abyss. <laughs> we took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles, Oh. Wasn't sure if I could step on these. They glowed beneath our toes. If I were to guess, I think it was like lichen, I think. Isn't that what it's called? Like this. It was called... Yeah, like lichen has blue. Bioluminescence. I think that's what it's called. I have, don't remember. In the water. Being moved. Back and forth. By the tide. Uh, okay. <laughs> I managed I to make it in time. Creatures, but it felt like magic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two. Big circles, go quickly. There we go. <laughs> I got up very early. I am very morning. immature. Oh, that is so pretty. You didn't even see what I did, did got you? Got a jam jar. No. And went down to the shore, to where I'd seen the plankton. Um, oh, okay, I can die. First thing I heard, I thought I was soft myself. 
Shit. <laughs> I just have to keep dying in order. <laughs> Push this down here. Okay. Gotta keep pushing. Ow. There we go. That evening, I was so excited. I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. Greatest night lamp ever. Oh, oh great greatest night lamp but ever. It didn't glow. I was devastated. Probably because the plankton, plankton died without food. <laughs> I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says. You can't put a cork in nature. You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Shit. <laughs> I think nature is cool and complicated. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're you're about to say. I, I think photoshopping is super fucking interesting because you can quite literally just have a photo, right? And it's like, oh, I don't really like that this person's in this photo. You can erase them from existence. What? The fuck, dragon? Okay, so... First we put the pebbles. pebbles. That is... Not very many glass pebbles. Stones. Or glass stones. Sand. Corals. Lights. A house. Company. <laughs> what is that? He's a little man. How do you know that's a man? That could be a woman. Don't you go misgendering, dragon. That motherfucker is blue. Are you saying women can have blue colors, dragon? No, I'm saying that motherfucker's gender is blue. Water. The thing does not have gender or pronouns, just blue. We took pictures <laughs> of Grand's photo album for our future selves to remember. Big blue. <laughs> Chew bombs. Why the fuck? How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Graham. Now, as you can see, I was correct. Uh, the plankton that she took in died. Science. <laughs> After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. My own bit of magic. Until something incredible happened. Okay, what happened? That was Mum. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. Uh oh. I have a weird feeling. Um. Stomach. Oh. Is it cancer? Why is it always cancer with these fucking stories? Something I what don't the fuck? know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. I don't oh, want to believe okay, it. Fuck. I can't lose her. <laughs> Still really fucking bad, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is bad, but like, the second 
I land on the platform to go to the next page, I just fall deep into the abyss. That that was perfect. I wasn't expecting it. Grace woke from a hazy, distant dream. Oh. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. Well. Let me throw off the page there, says Chew. What's that noise? Eldereva? Is this entire game just about a one girl dealing with the fact Grace, that her grandma died? Maybe. So that's a village. Oh. I thought the fireflies protected us. There must be something wrong. Get to the tree at once. Hurry. Suddenly, Grace was surrounded by smoke and cinders. As she hurried past the crackling rooftops, her concern grew. Hey, Grace, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. Broken. The lift. No, there's no space. Oh, okay. Find your own hiding spot then. She looked at her burning treetop village. This was all she knew. This was home. Well, damn. She needed to get to the fireflies. Well, I would if this elevator went any faster. <laughs> she needed to keep everyone safe. I kind of said, oh yeah, you can hide in one of our houses when almost every house is burning down. Please, Grace, help me out. I'm trapped under this thing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Never thought I'd be so glad to see my feet again. No, a no, no. I need to get to the firefly tree. A friend indeed. The bridge oh, was beyond. Oh, <laughs> I just plummeted into my death. The bridge was beyond repair. Okay. One step at a time. Wrong, wrong one. Is my big brain. I am intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. That terrifying noise echoed from beyond the village gate. Objection says Chew. Rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly. Right. But she could not deny the creeping terror. The earth yawned below her. <laughs> the earth yawned below earth her yawned as below I her. plummet to my death. Just keep moving, just keep moving. It was as scared moving, as she moving. was. Okay. With I was nearly crushed to death. Them, fires burned out of control. Yeah, fuck you, fire. Some words will stay with you. Others are fleeting. 
A strange blaze crackled ahead. Is that fire? I've never seen a flame like that before. bell lay silent on the ground. Well, it's not one. Nearly there. What should you say? <laughs> Shut oh, up, no. Chew. realization dawned on Grace. Fireflies were gone. I'm still here. A new determination rose in her. She would find Revenge. Revenge. Elder Ava! Something took the fireflies. I know. Our people will fall sick without them. Don't worry. I'm going to find out what did this. I'll fix it. Oh, dragon's no longer with me. Oh well. I'll make them pay. I promise. Go, and may the love of this village guide you. Grace took a deep breath. She knew what she had to do. There would be a reckoning. Time to the do a murder. Fall away beneath her. <laughs> but she would not be stopped. This was further than she'd ever been before. And yet it was exhilarating. Wondrous. And terrifying. That's fine. I Here have magic words. And hope in her heart. But things were about to get worse. Much, okay. Much worse. Oh. Chu, what is your boyfriend doing? But Grace would not slow down. Not for crumbling paths. I can't end the story here. Not me. <laughs> Which upsets me. God damn it. I got it. I got it. Yes. Not the giant monsters. She would get revenge. No matter what. Oh yeah, I stopped paying for streamlabs, by the way. She would catch the dragon. No, wait! I, I gotta she capture your boyfriend, Chew. And let. Why did you start? Because it was actually better than OBS at the time, when I had it. Hello, Jano. <laughs> we went to see Gran today. No, he's mine. Before I go for, uh, yeah. I stopped paying for Streamlabs, because obviously it gets me nothing but issues. So, like, if I find a way to stop it and it actually works again, then I'll go back to paying for it. But as of right now, it looks like it's just OBS. In the hospital. It looks like we left Ben the chew on her neighbor's fortress. Oh no. Oh no. It 
took us a while to find the right room. Also, Chi, are you able to hear me better? Because apparently, uh, yesterday during stream, I saw in the VOD that I was like really low speaking. So I missed the volume to see if I actually talk louder. If it's not, let me know and I can check out the volume. Dad, let me open the door. Yes, I knew you fine. Okay. Gran has a big, cozy bed at home. Nothing like the hospital one she was in. Oh no. Oh no. Lying in there. She looked so small. Oh no. I don't remember her being that small. Gran's eyes were open. But she struggled to... Ah... Uh. Find the right words. She just couldn't... Ah. Uh. Speak properly. The doctor said it was called dysphasia. Oh no. It was caused by the stroke. Why are you snacking on popcorn at it? She's at usually a, so talkative. At a depressing time, she what the fuck's now, wrong with you? She kept stopping. Mid sentence. As if all the Being words, hungry isn't gonna help. She could find were just out of reach. I could see it really frustrating her. And she tutted. Like sh she does when she's annoyed. And then Gran started coughing. They put an oxygen mask on her. Oh. I told her she looked like... Darth Gran. She smiled at that. Yeah, Grandma's gonna die at the end of this game. That yeah, most reminds definitely. me of Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema. A long, long time ago, when Mum was my age. Epic. A grand story. <laughs> Gran and Mum went to see <laughs> favorite movie. Mum fell asleep. But Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy looking smuggler showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're gonna watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. Oh no. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. I can't wait. This time, I'll be all her high scores. For sure. I mean, yeah, you will beat all of her high scores. She'll be dead. That sounds really, that sound really dark. Tough cookie. 
in video games and everywhere else. What the fuck is that? I heard Mum crying in her room. Oh no. I've never seen her cry before. She looked so sad. I didn't know what to do. So I made her a cup of tea. I have made tea before. You don't put milk in tea from as far as I remember. If the, if is that like a different type of tea thing? I have never once ha had milk be put in tea. Just like grounds, she said. Mum said Gran was getting tired. I said she's getting better. Mum said she felt helpless. I said she was just sleepy. Mum said Gran's going to... I said she's going to be fine. Everything is going to be oh. Uh... Everything is going to be fine. Oh no. Oh no. All you need is a leap of faith. Will Gran still be Gran after this? Of course. She'll be fine. Fine. I can be oblivious. Gran is going to get better, right? Let's just make ourselves be oblivious. I made her smile. That should help. It should help a child's psyche. Just be oblivious. Got to keep positive. To the death of a loved one. I'll show Gran my story. Mum as well. They'll enjoy reading it. I hope it helps. What else can I do? I just need to finish my story. So, where were we? After the dragon attacked the village, Grace swore vengeance, leaving Elder Ava and her village behind. Her journey took her to... Now we need an obstacle light. A vast desert. With a guardian. Fuck. Who guards it because it is... Sacred, dangerous... His home. <laughs> I mean... His home. That makes sense. <laughs> it's his home. <laughs> Grace had pursued the dragon far, far from home. The desert spread out before her. Dunes rising and falling like a sea of gold. Timeless and bewildering. A glow in the sand. I'll get you safely home. Another firefly. Escaped from the dragon's grasp. Ah, your boyfriend couldn't get all the fireflies. Hey, You're safe now. How do you feel? How do you feel, Chew?
I mean, I cut all of his, so it's fine. Where did this wind suddenly come from? There was something very unnatural about it. We down to my death. Stop speaking. Hold on, fireflies. Hold on. Phew. It stopped. Someone's down there. Hey there. Who are you to come in here making all that noise? My desert was peaceful, tranquil. So you're causing the wind. It's great fun, but have you seen a dragon blow by? Go away. <laughs> and stay out. But Grace's will would not break that easily. Fuck your rocks. <laughs> hey, come back here. I really need your help. I said go. Oh, look, another firefly. Obviously, I have to go down okay. here. See ya. <laughs> that right, bitches. Grumpy pants out. The yawning cave burrowed deep into the earth. Home to wondrous life. Easily scared. Grab that. Grace felt like an explorer. Uncovering the unknown. <laughs> Far below the rolling dunes. You can't stop my big brain. Not at all. Oh, shit. I hope not. Yeah, big brain. Am I gonna go up? Okay, there it goes. Uh, how? No, no, god damn it.
Thank you. Interesting. Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. <laughs> Repair. Deep under the desert sounds, Grace found. Rise. A long forgotten chamber. The plant recoiled at the sound of her footsteps. Oh, then how? Oh, I get it, I get it. No? Then how the fuck do I get that? Repair? No. <laughs> fuck you, that. Broken remains of greatness past. Oh? Oh, it's the dude. The silence of the ages filled the air. Oh, hi, Jerry. How's it hanging? I am naked because I just got out of the bath. Naked and attracting oxygen molecules. Is that a weird way of saying I'm breathing, Spood? <laughs> <laughs> Your brother is breathing. Your brother is breathing, maybe. You can see I'm playing a game that Derna recommended me. I like it so far. Ah, oh, fresh air. And now to do my ultimate specialty as Dr. Bright is I break shit. <laughs> I'm not sure how you're gonna cross over, but... <laughs> Repair! Uh... Silence! Rise! <laughs> Rise! <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm only an expert at breaking things, not much fixing them. <laughs> A familiar foul tempered <laughs> voice drifted down to Grace. Uh, oh. Hey there. You. <laughs> you shall go no further. Uh, thanks for retweeting the stream book. Who is that weird person? Uh, this is his home. Oh wait, I know. Silence. Ah. <laughs> Word magic. <laughs> I just made it so you couldn't speak. <laughs> just like, Grace that was kind of awful. disarmed the gym. His fury was great. Fortunately, his voice was very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> but the Desert Guardian would not let it rest. Hey! Stop it! Fuck. Fuck your walls. Gotta click that.
Fuck your shit. I could have jumped over that, but I want to break shit. <laughs> I need to find the dragon. Don't you get that? I really don't have time for this. That's it. So long. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Desert Guardian. I whooped your ass. With the power of making you no longer speak. <laughs> now, what's all this? As she looked around this lonely, desolate place, Grace wondered... Why would anyone choose to live here? There had That's been very people funny. here, once upon a time. What happened to them? Who were they? I guess you need to repair more. Nah, I'll just jump to my death. <laughs> The dome was empty, but for a pool of water. An inviting place to rest. Oh, that's the end of the Grace's story for now. thoughts drifted to the people that once had lived here. She was sure they must have been... I can either say merchants, but I don't see any, like, merchant stuff. Warriors are philosophers. I think they were either merchants or philosophers. We'll go with philosophers. Philosophers. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, that changed everything. <laughs> oh! A distant roar roused Grace from her thoughts. I just changed the history of this land against its own will. <laughs> I think it's less that you changed it and more that you fixed yes. something. Dragon. Oh yeah, now the time to chase Chu's boyfriend. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I said that earlier. The ancient statues toppled before Grace. Alright, do my specialty is completely destroy things. Wise philosophers. Pondering life's mysteries. Yeah. Fall before me. <laughs> You're just a little jackass, aren't you? Yup. <laughs> Fuck this land's history. I'm an Behind asshole. Grace, <laughs> a grumpy mumbling could be heard. <laughs> oh, him again. Let's move. Oh, that's better. I do the magic around here. You go away. The desert guardian was frantically looking for Grace. Stop hiding from me. No, fuck you. I'll surely find her eventually. Wouldn't he? Despite the darkness, Grace's hope guided her. Your hope is a light now. No idea where I'm supposed to go. Well, obviously not that way. Can I go back up? Yes, I can. This way. I'm checking because I have to find fireflies. Okay. Can't go there yet. I thought 
thought you were supposed to go through the narrow passage down under. There's 20 hidden fireflies. I found 13. Oh, and speak of the devil. I was wrong. So we are supposed to go this way. Okay. <laughs> uh, repair. Anything to repair? No. Uh, rise? Rise. Anything to rise down here? No. Okay, I can't jump on the word hope. I guess you have to jump. Oh! There needs to be another word to help oh, you. There we oh. go. <laughs> yeah. Fucker! Oh, you're supposed to push the block. Yeah. Remember to move hope with you. Oh. Well, I no longer need it. Ah, I know exactly what to do with this. See, you need oh, hope yeah. again. <laughs> See, you need hope again. Nope. Oh, you don't. <laughs> I, I lost hope forever. I no longer have hope. <laughs> It must leave. It must. They mustn't know. Mustn't know hmm. what? Well, now I'm curious. Ah, yes. Fuck your statue. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you stumble upon a land of philosophers and you break every philosopher statue you can. Fuck philosophy. <laughs> right. Book resist depression has claimed you once again. What is it with this guy? <laughs> There's gotta be oh, something down here. Break that? No. Is it supposed to rise? Rise! Oh! Rise again! <laughs> it, it just forces me over here. For some reason. No, 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 no! What has you so worked up, old windbag? The past! The past! It stays hidden. It must. Well, you see, now I'm not as bad as him. He wants to. He wants to silence history. So we're not that far bad. <laughs> Booker says that's pretty fair. Fuck philosophy. <laughs> no fucking philosophy. Oh, old days. So little left. Best forgotten. Look, whatever it is you don't want me to see, I'm sure we can. No, 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 no. You cannot go further. How can I? You're going to spite repair that statue, aren't you? Would she Maybe. break the Jin statue, or repair it? Repair. It's fuck you. We're learning the history, bitch. <laughs> I knew you were that spiteful. Human creature. You. You rebuilt my statue. Why? You aren't listening. But you look calmer now. I. I do not understand. Why show pity to me? I did nothing to aid you. 
everyone deserves a second chance. Or a tenth. Or a tenth. <laughs> What's happened here? What did you do? I failed. More than ten times. Let me show you. I'm guessing you're going after that light bulb thing before you go after him, aren't you? Yeah. I want to get all the fireflies. Boom. That'll be 17. Fuck your bridge. <laughs> you're... 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's repair, not rise. <laughs> Whoops. Also, Booker says no, I don't want to actually fuck philosophy. We're incompatible in that way, lol. Okay, is there anything up here? Maybe. Nope. No. Oh. I was once worshipped here. It was wonderful. Okay. But I grew complacent. Arrogant. They warned me that great dangers were coming. And what did you do? Nothing. I believe that there was no danger I could not point out. I was wrong. They paid the price. My being here must have brought back painful memories. That is as it should be. To feel something, even pain, after all this time. For that, I thank you. Oh. I don't need your thanks. But I do need to know if you've seen a dragon around here. It has come and gone. But there is something you should know about that beast. What was that? Hold on! Hold softly, my friend! Knowledge will be yours in time. Use it more wisely than I did. Now I feel bad for him. I still want to bring yeah. shit. Everyone makes a mistake. Hello, Jano. Today at school, I got my history essay back. I wrote about Vikings. I love Vikings. My gosh, we're a hatchet. A hatchet, we're a little girl. God damn it, fuck. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so so they probably didn't have horned helmets. Mr. Collins didn't like it. Why? I won't be showing this to Mum. It, 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 you get taught about this sort of stuff in school. Why would they? She has enough to worry about. Oh no. Oh yeah. Shiri, there are going to be some really depressing parts of this game. That's okay. Vikings are the best. I mean, her grandma is in a hospital with an oxygen mask as a warning. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Collins is an ass, says Book. They're tall. Well, probably. And strong. Definitely. They love conquering. Who and doesn't? <laughs> this character. <laughs> Fuck, what's it called when you say. Are you sure she's a little hatchet and not a little you? 
<laughs> no. No, I I'm trying to think. What's it? Look, I forgot. Uh, oh, she's a colonist. That that's what she is now. <laughs> there we go. I forgot she's that not word. Not a for colonist. All kinds of awesome. <laughs> I could really use some awesome right now. Aww. I got her old photo album out. I wanted to see Gran like I remember her when she was awesome. Oh no. Oh wait, there we go. I got everything, I think. Maybe you need to put it back. Or do I climb on it? Every time oh. I close my eyes. Oh no. Damn it. Uh, here's one thing I was gonna say. I, it starts with D. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's, I think it said dysphalgia, where she can't like speak at all, really, because she had a stroke and that's why she's in hospital. Uh. I, I I have no idea if I said it correctly. It's just grand, but somehow it isn't. It's not her. That is her. That's reality. She's dying. She woke up after a few minutes, but it didn't seem like she knew who we were. Oh, that's dementia. what strokes do. Why? That's what strokes do. Why is this happening? Why her? It isn't fair. Eight. Why, Journal? It just happens. How am I supposed? Uh, how am I supposed to deal with this? You just do. Gran still can't speak properly. It's so cruel. She can't tell us. She won't be able to ever speak properly like again. Like what she wants to eat, or how she feels, and what's worse, everyone pretends they're having a real conversation with her. But they're not! They're doing their best. Yeah. You're doing fine, Barbara, the doctor said to her. You just need some time. Hospitals should make you better! Sometimes they can't. I believe she'll, I believe she'll be okay. Well, She's why so can she talk now. yet? I want her better now. Oh. Just wait. Time is a healer. Oh no. I thought that was his job. I wish I could help her. <laughs> it makes me so mad. Oh. Nurse said it was dinner. Mum. The hospital her. isn't what's making her See, worse. It's her sickness. Potato. Yeah. But we could stay if we help Granny. Why would she need help? But when Gran tried to eat by herself. I've seen her inhale a packet of hobnobs. What the fuck's a hobnob? I will look it up. She kept dropping her cutlery. And Bookum, what is true about that? With the kid with the. Got the book doctor there. Oh, no, God. Why did you go up? 
Oh, a hobnob. Oh, yeah, a hobnob is a British biscuit cookie. Ah. Now I remember. I have those with food. Ah. Mushroom Mushroom. Grand calls them nature's bogeys. Bogeys. I forgot this is a British game, so there's British words. What the fuck is a bogey? Oh, I guess now we know. And I die. Forgot when the main character was obvious has an obvious British accent. I've never met a British person, so I don't know what a British accent sounds like. Book. <laughs> it's like mom doesn't even know her. I oh, reminded no. mom about the mushrooms. She got that look, and banged the spoon against the bowl. There was lip passing, but looking at Gran, I had to help her. On base. Oh no. You, you've never seen one in a video? No, I don't really watch British people videos. I'm impressed. <laughs> I still has some loose change. Okay, and that's not wrong. I've heard a British guy before. I have not heard a British woman. I've heard a British guy, but not a British woman. So I ran. Cause down to the entrance hall. Yeah, cause though I kind of wish I forgot about who the British guy was. We all to tell you who it was. Uh, it was Minnie Lad. Where I'd seen a vending machine on the way in. And hopefully everyone knows why I don't I wanna forget about him. Yeah. Egg sandwich! Hurrying back to 305. <laughs> I couldn't help but grin. Fran loves these. They didn't let me back in. Uh-oh. Adult talk. Wait outside. That's what they said. Oh no. So I He's waited dying. on a bench yeah. until Mum came out the room. She said nothing. Just took me to the car. We didn't speak a single word. Not at the car park. Not during our drive home. Granny died. Yeah. The thing is, before I continue further, I act this actually hits me hard. Because I was with in a similar situation, but not with a person, but with the animal. Where we went there, they were dying, but I decided, because I thought the medicine would help them, so they can live maybe a year longer. No. His body broke down. And I had to take him next day to have him be put down to end his pain. So this this hits hard. <laughs> I'm already getting a little teary. I can pretend to this father's name. Pies for tea. Yeah. I just wasn't hungry. Dad said I needed to eat. I said if Gran wasn't going to eat? Neither would I. He sent me to my room. To be honest, I actually didn't eat much I at all slammed after the door really loudly. they died too. And flumped onto but my they bed. don't know they're dead. <laughs> I still had the egg sandwich. Don't eat the fucking egg sandwich. That's nasty by now. It was all mushed up. Everything. 
everything is all mushed up. Everything gets old. Yeah. Dad is mean. Mum doesn't care. And Pi is stupid. But maybe I should just try to write my story. Just get my mind off things. Let's see. And that's the true. Last time, Book. Grace was plunging down. Life is just being mushed up. That's true, Book. Into the dark below. But the gin spell slowed her fall. Thanks from B. <laughs> down and down she went, tumbling. Helpless. Then and there, Grace started to die. No, no. Crash, scream, cry. Thrash sounds good. All right. Thrash, but the darkness didn't care. She's entering her emo phase. I was hoping Thrash would mean she could grab onto something. And <laughs> course that's As scream. Grace hurtled through the darkness, her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated. Angry. She wanted answers. Yeah, when I when I got this game, I didn't realize it was gonna be depressing as shit. Cause it doesn't look like that on the cover. The Jin's magic gently released her into the unknown. Now where am I? Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for tweeting out the stream, uh, Ninji Kawa Satoki. Alright. Break your fucking shit! <laughs> The ground was warm to the touch. Yeah. At least it's quiet. Just my luck. And what's that? Molten stone. She'd seen nothing like this in her forest home. I really miss fooling around with the village kids. Yeah. And Cheer, I think he already knew what I was talking about in my past. A stalactite hung above, looking decidedly precarious. Break that shit! I'm a hopping stone now. None of this seems welcoming. None at all. Hey, you know what I was talking about earlier, right? Here. Yeah. Nah, we're just walking what open flame, it? it's fine. You see, the thing is, child, I'm immortal, but apparently you're not, so fuck you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Something was unnerving about the pendulous nature of the ceiling. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Oh. Ha! Gotcha. Use, I use my big brain. This is ridiculous. I need to find whatever is causing this and stop it, or I'll be smushed. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, 
Oh, wait, I, I actually hit repairs <laughs> rise again. <laughs> As the sound got closer, Grace realized she would soon face its maker. Isn't that the point? Yeah. <laughs> It's fine, I have the powers to break shit. I'll be fine. Okay. Here we go. Fire and flame wrapped her form. Hey! Stop that! You'll bring the whole cave down! But the giantess just kept on pounding. Yeah, just ignore me. Break the dragon's heart. It's not like I might die over here. <laughs> oh yeah, here's an interesting fact. Did you know you can walk on lava? Well, not lava per se, but like... And when it's more solidified, you can walk on it. I actually watched a video about it, like, but you have to like be extremely careful because if it's not fully uh, solidified, you can fall straight into liquid lava and die. You do realize lava when it cools becomes stone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Technically, lava gently bubbled, as if to mock most the lack of land progress. is made of lava. How do I get that? Hello? Oh. I think I found my answer. Ride. Goodbye! <laughs> it's like, comes back down. The fire's like, no. <laughs> Take Rise off and it'll stop rising! The thing, like, oh, the thing oh. up there. Okay, oh. it didn't. It didn't. Why didn't it do that at first? I put it there, and it didn't do it. Yes, give me that. I am an inch away from that slag mine. Hit <laughs> <laughs> says, "I thought you're stuck there." And fuck your wall. <laughs> My powers of words are more better than you. No, fuck. Oh well, that, I didn't. I didn't react enough time. I needed that. Fuck your walls. It's not like it's keeping me alive. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Okay, I just go up here. What will happen if you get all of them? I don't know, but it won't matter now because I won't be able to get all of them. There. And... Why don't you run? Ah! Right. Not listening or ignoring. I don't care. I have to stop her. I have Inside Grace was broken the game. <laughs> rage. <laughs> I have broken the game. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I literally <laughs> caused the glitch to happen to make me walk backwards. Hey, 
Who would do that? Really shouldn't be pissing her off. Yeah, no shit. she'd encountered. Sheesh. She's so angry. The thought stuck with Grace. Wait, I wonder if these creatures are based off her parents. Or her emotions. What's wrong with her, I wonder? Uh. Oh, I think I need a breather. Just before that desert story, she was talking about her past, and now she recently talked about being angry and everything, and now there's an angry character. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, says Book. Yeah. A place to rest. Grace was beginning to feel the burn of loneliness. I can now burn things. <laughs> Now, where are the mental asylums at? Right. Grace's thoughts <laughs> back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? She must have felt... Misunderstood. Misunderstood. She smashes stuff. You see, I burnt down four hundred and twenty mental asylums. I need to get the 666, Cheery. I get that. What? <laughs> Grace fouled to be more understanding. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> if they met again. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Um, I forgot to say this earlier. But I uploaded my stream schedule for the rest of this month as well as April. I know I said I'll try streaming every day of April, but I also, well, I need to take some days in April to finish editing and, like, for March. Luckily, I don't have much to edit. This game and SCP tier listing is all going to be editing. Apex and power washing will be its own separate thing on the Vodge channel. Well, yeah. considering my one dad's birthday would have been on April 8th, probably not going to be very talkative around then. That's fair. Yeah, yeah and also, uh, also April 13th we'll have a stream because I'll be sleeping all day for the birthday stream that's the next day. So I plan to stay up 24 hours, so I'll sleep, I'll sleep 24 hours. Or try to. But I'm pretty sure I won't have that much of an issue. <laughs> oh, look, it's a cute little tree thing. Burn it! <laughs> As the light. Oh, look, another one. Burn. <laughs> Pushed back the darkness. A heaviness lifted from her heart. 
Uh, probably just stay away from that. That was strangely satisfying. Can I have more of those? Break. Can't burn. I think you're done burning things. Well, no, there's the exploding mushrooms right there, so I'll probably have to. God damn it. Get up there. Or maybe I have to do a rise. Game. I know, but I can't go up there. Maybe a different word. Hope. Oh. It doesn't light up much because I already have light. Uh, repair? Rise. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking of is burn. It has something to do with this up here. Is it expecting you to jump? Oh, there's some. Oh, the wire's way up there. That's why. Really? Oh! Really? You know what I'm gonna do? Burn. Yep. Okay, can't burn it yet. We'll keep following this and let's see if I can beat it. See if I can beat it. Why are you why are you chasing an explosive? Elder Evil approved. Elder Evil approved, but I didn't don't care. <gasps> Look at all the exploding mushrooms. Oh. Yeah. I think she's starting to understand the giantess more. <laughs> Race was adrift on the current. Without control. Lost on the flow of lava. It would take her where it wished. Yes, got it. It's speeding up. That can't be good. The burning river went faster. <coughs> and faster. That's fine. Oh, oh, I managed to get that without dying. Ooh. Yeah, I missed one, so. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, Grace. Remember. Empathy. You! You again! She isn't listening! Run, Grace! Run! I'm moving my little Thundering ass faster than you. Oh god, crawl faster. Crawl fucking faster. 
crawl fucking faster. Why she's upset. <laughs> See you later, bitch. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> hey, how's it going? You don't need to come Destroy any closer. Everything he touches. Freedom. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, fuck you. Well, shit. Now look what you've done. You We're trapped, and it's all your fault. I hate this place, and I hate you. I hate you. Her anger <laughs> consumed itself. This is definitely her What's emotions. What's to be angry about? I wouldn't squash me if I were you. Think of the mess. The smell. The giantess smiled. As her anger left, it brought a change. Oh? You did it again! Lump when lump so big. Of course, there's no mess if you're immediately burned. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Dragon? I'll show you. But first. We need to get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Just then, Grace noticed a boom shroom she hadn't seen before. I love its name, the boom shrooms. Companion. Hello, Journal. Okay, before I continue, uh, I'm gonna go to intermission because I have to pee. Fair enough. Intermission time. No, no. You do not leave your screams entertainment to a naked gay man.
<laughs> All right, I'm back. Hold on. What? Cancel. What's going on? Oh, oh no, OBS. Oh God. Oh God. OBS, please. Um, okay, there it goes. Okay. I, I, I don't know what happened. But, uh, but something for surely happened. Hey, Sarah at school told me. Her granddad had a stroke too. His mouth went lopsided. And he spoke a little funny. Now he mostly sits around, watching the telly. Oh, no, she's gonna get jealous. I don't think Gran would enjoy that. They told him there's nothing to be done. Oh no. She'd feel like she was giving up. Oh, no dying, please. She'd want to keep moving. <laughs> please. Keep doing things. Gran always says. Oh, yeah. J Jerry, uh, Spood, uh, sent me what he said. God damn it! No! <laughs> 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 it's about to get even more sad. Your kindness, and it will return it threefold. The more positive energy and kindness you give the world, the more you get back. That's why she's always helping people. She's like a superhero of kindness. What happened? When Mr. Parry's lawn got too high. Oh, me and Lumpty left, and now we're going back to the journal instead of the story. I know, but why are you quoting Grand your grandma? Cut it for him. Oh, because the game doesn't read it, like the blue font. No, I mean I'm asking for what happened while I was peeing. Oh, her friend's grandpa also had a stroke, and they talked about that. Oh. About, about how he only sits in front of the TV all day now. Uh, and she says that grandma wouldn't like that. Okay. It seems like she's healing in her own way. Lots and lots of cakes. She even does the unthinkable. Oh. She changed Ben's smelly nappies. <laughs> <laughs> we could do with kindness right now. Ben is her little brother, which is pretty much a baby. Someone better step up. Me. Oh. Starting with... You're saying, Jerry? Considering her gran was a gran, I would imagine gran changed either her mother or father's nappies once in a long time ago. Yeah. Bringing world oh. peace? Cooking for the elderly? A little smaller. Cutting Mr. Wouldn't Parry we want to... Wouldn't want to poison him? <laughs> Tidying my room. And Daddy will let me use the lawnmower. That's it. <laughs> I love how cooking for the elderly wouldn't want to poison them. <laughs> Bring order to chaos. 
A mighty struggle needs a suitable tagline. Aw, it's the kitty. It's tidying time. Fuck. <laughs> I just kicked the cat out of the room. <laughs> British words are mildly annoying. Speak normal English, you dummy slash SS book. Oh. I can't put myself in a trash can. Well, that's wrong. My channel's trash. Why? <laughs> and then I did the washing up from breakfast. Without being asked. <laughs> because I can't say that word, that, that word right there, the last one. It kind of sounded like I said without being asked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Jerry, I'm coming in through your mic. That's what? Uh, my voice is coming through your mic. I'm not sure how because. Hmm. It's a miracle, Chief. It's a miracle. Then he bowed at my feet. He's such a complete numpty head. I have no idea what a numpty head is. But it made Mum laugh. Aww. And when we got to the hospital later... Bookworm, you and me are gonna fight. I'm the trash one, not you. We're fighting over this. Neither of you are trash, you fucking bastards. <laughs> Sitting in a chair. Oh, she's getting better. Out the window. She was smiling. So all the things I've been doing have been working. Uh, she still dies. Izzy B. Cook, miracle uh, worker extraordinaire. I probably fucked I up that just name. Have to do more. Uh, her, her emotions were gonna come crashing down when she realized that's not how it works. Yeah. There was kale for tea. Kale? Which is a kind of vegetable torture. But I told myself... <laughs> that if I could eat all of it... Then Gran would be even better tomorrow. Without complaining. Oh no. Something's gonna happen. Do I have to jump over here? Every. Blast. Soggy. Leaf. Shit. Fuck. Well, that works. <laughs> Done. I am on fire today. I ran up the stairs two at a time. Just to top things up. Doing that can accidentally make you go to a phantom stair. You know what that is, Sherry. Pinky was very impressed. And slept on my feet all night. Uh, do you know what a phantom stair is? Uh, no. Alright, so it's an actual medical term. Basically, it's when your body thinks that there's like a foot or a landing there when there isn't uh, like i said i know oh you knew yeah oh i i couldn't hear you all right discord cut you off so i thought you said i didn't know god damn discord shit oh no i want to grab this Hion. Starts chewing on 
on its own tail. You're not allowed to chew. A warm ball of well-earned recognition. Thanks, Pinky. Oh gosh, everything's fading. <laughs> Hello. Oh no. Uh -oh. The thing we knew happened. Sleep. I guess I felt a bit silly. I mean, who cares if I eat my kale? Well, Dad, maybe? But does any of this really make a difference? It's just... If there's a sliver of a chance, it actually does. I want to believe oh, it. Baby. Uh, thank you, Mr. Star. Or Miss Star. Sarah told me that. When her granddad was sick, she used to pray. I don't exactly know how that works, but best to hedge my bets. They made him better, she said. Oh shit. Lime. Lime, damn it. Okay. Fuck, I thought it would make me fall over there. There we go. Good lime. Please. 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 Make ground well. It's not that's not how prayers work. <laughs> But you're a child, so it's fine. You're a child, so it's fine. What if when also, you... Also, it seems like her parents don't do prayer, so she probably doesn't understand it at all. Yeah. What if when you fell off this page at this point, it's what made Grand die? Oh, God, shoo! Sarah's family are pretty religious. Not like Mom and Dad. Uh, well, there, that confirms things. <laughs> I hmm. don't know that much about religion, actually. I like the stories, especially the one about the Ark, and rescuing all the animals. Ah, Christianity. Or Judaism. Either of the two. We'll find out by the next page, I think. Oh shit. <laughs> I followed my death. <laughs> Bran was raised Catholic. Well, I confirms thanks. <laughs> but I never really heard her talk about God. Apart from... She doesn't know what happened to those not on the boat. <laughs> that time she dropped the yogurts in Tesco's. We took care of the mess before the staff noticed. Grant quickly, Grant quickly covered my ears. Oh! I think I know what, what she did. I think I know what Grand said. Ugh. Long jump. I asked her once. She said, if there is a god, there are not actions. Aww. How we help and love one another. We're all gods. No, Bri. <laughs> so what should I do? Oh, if you think about it, technically I am a god. Bri. <laughs> Talk about canonically speaking. I'm going to bring in my story next time we go to the hospital. I can read it to her. I think she'd like that. Maybe if I do a really good job, she can come home in time for Ben's birthday. Uh, Book says she took the Lord's name in vain, so she's in hell right now, right? And Chu says, 
This is too sweet for me. I can feel myself getting a cavity. Oh, I got two areas. Oh wait, no, it's not two areas. But first, I need to get on with the story. Returns towards Satan is only gross. <laughs> Having escaped the flaming caves, Lump and Grace ventured into a tenebrous forest. Thanks, the th thesaurus. Writing Lump is going to be fun. But if she's not so angry anymore, she might need another character flaw. Maybe... A facility, or... Pernickety, or... Kathy... Kathios. Stop using the, th the source, is he? <laughs> Uncontrollable cravings for S sweet fruit, sour fruit, or stink fruit. <laughs> stink, stink fruit. Because <laughs> I think in one brace of Satanism, they think of them of themselves as a god. Here, Satan throws really good parties. <laughs> Shoo! No. Gentle sunlight streamed across their faces. Sun! <laughs> I'm Misty. Bookworm, can you bonk, Chew? Skyfire is warm. Like lump! That's the dragon! We've got to follow it! Dragon? Let's go, <laughs> A dragon is a handbook for Monk Chu. Monk. That's fair, you're made out of fire. The grey forest. Dark. Foreboding. Grace didn't care. Oh, you miss it? Yes. That's why I'm doing this. You miss home, but you leave it. You curious. And boom! I saw that fairy. Or not fairy, firefly. Don't worry, Lump. You can just burn them all down. Human's bad. <laughs> this is true. I had to. The dragon attacked our village. I swore I'd get vengeance. Fuck that tree. Take that. Got another firefly. Repair. I am an ultimate wizard. A witch, whatever you call me. Small mouse supremacist. <laughs> you see fire thing, dragons like rats. Help, Lump. 
When I'm small. Not for no use. Uh, I actually got pushed off. <laughs> They're very good at freaking like the engagement. I'm gonna point out this is probably the first human lumps ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Your mother's saying the truth. <laughs> Leave Wump alone. They're a good small bean. <laughs> Hi, Lem. Okay. Is there anything? Okay, this is probably where I have to go. So first, break this. <laughs> I like how as soon as I break it, I, Jiri coughs. So I just made Jiri cough. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. Jiri oh. coughed because he's thirsty. <laughs> You can catch and study the dragon. I need to for science. <laughs> but was... I would like to point out I'm far more derpy Thanks than I seem. Help. I just bit my tongue, for example. <laughs> Bookworm says, which what? Part... Uh, yeah. Bookworm said, which part of the dragon would you study, Chu? Chu says, yes, it gets bonged by Bookworm. <laughs> No, don't want science. No. Oh, that smells worse than Elder Ava's pickled tree slugs. Pickled tree Please, slugs? Leave it alone. Ugh. We need to go. Now. But, but the fruit. Okay. Aww. Let one eat the fruit. Rise, no. Repair, no. Break, no. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't do anything. <coughs> Shadows deepened in the ravaged forest. I feel like Lump's smarter than her, and Lump is basically a child. Yeah. Repair. Yeah. I'm curious, how long is this game? Uh, four to five hours, okay. So I can actually probably beat this in full stream. Oh, hi. Hi, Moon. Harrison's probably looks so cool. I found narration's in the environment. Yeah, true. Also, Moon, feel free to bonk the Chew if they act horny. Well, okay then, you son of a bitch. Woman, no fly like long, yes? A 
deep rift yawned before them. No! No! No, no! We're so close! Choose feralness cannot be fixed with headbath. Break the tree! <laughs> oh. I don't know, I mean, I'd be horny for a dragon too, so it's food. Wait, what? <laughs> Shoot Tim's hat. Grace felt her resolve melt. I need to find the dragon. We need a bunk. A bunk everyone command for sure, lol. <laughs> Just what am I doing out here? All by myself? Oh no. Silly human. Lump not left is in food. <laughs> Thanks, Lump. <laughs> Grace knew she wouldn't swap that little ball of fire for anything. Wow. You okay, Lump? Little dizzy. <laughs> I can now teleport, bitches. I like how the only way we can teleport is when we force them to stop eating the stinky fruit. <laughs> Mean, that was but... amazing. Yeah, no punk. I am else with needs. Whoa, that's a cool mechanic, yeah. Swap is very cool. <laughs> Let's see, we're just gonna Swap through here. <laughs> and we're just gonna swap over here. <laughs> and right there. I'm pretty sure, like, I've done this before, like, gone down poles and whatnot with just my hands. It fucking hurts. I'm not sure how much it would hurt even more if it's from a vine or a tree branch. To, to starting to tickle due to spells have an effect on lump? Maybe. It's long term usage of a word spell. Ethical. <laughs> Well, you just phased through that rock. Can you explain that? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> There's no doubt. Something strong. Pikachu owning Pokemon ethical. <laughs> very, very large. They are in immaterial fire. <laughs> this baby. All exp explanation needed. <laughs> They can phase through anything. <laughs> there it is. Dragon fly? Wow. Great. We see it. Just like real babies. We go now. It goes. See? We go. Yes. Grace pursued the beast with little <laughs> Juno, thought come for back. her own safety. You won't get away from me again. I won't let you. Ah. No. Come back. Come back here. <laughs> Lump. Lump is so innocent. <laughs> Sorry, Chu, your lover doesn't want to talk right now, oh. says book. Fast. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh shit. As the waters calmed, Grace realized the dragon had gone far, far below. It's a water dragon. I... I... Her 
hope was shattered. I can't. It's okay, human. We find Dragon again. Have another go, right? Aww. Mom. It's okay. Lump help. But how? Most of the pieces are gone. I can't even fix it. Look! You get on this, okay? Lump is a good friend. Chun and his dragon boyfriend have a bio child, so that's that's <laughs> that'd be awkward. <laughs> they probably just need some alone time for a bit. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? No, it seems pretty heartwarming so far, which makes me scared about what her aspect is. Look, one of them's little glowy things you likes. I don't think this is much of a horror game. You like things too, I just kept the horror tag because my character is a horror model. That's Creepy looking. Maybe there are some people around here after all. But, yeah. But this uh, game is can get very depressing at times. <laughs> uh -oh. Scaring us for no reason then. <laughs> Yep. That's my power to scare everyone by just staring at them. <laughs> Bright makes all things horror with her existence. <laughs> Is that true, Jerry? Look. What? Jerry, uh Bookworm says Bright makes th all things ho horror with her existence. I don't think so. Then I must try that. No! <laughs> you cold, woman? A little, yes. Love make fireball. You bring wood, yes? Okay. I can do that. What's up, woman? It's just. I remember collecting with Elder Mira. Anything else over here I can get? I hope she's still okay. Repair! No, uh... Break! Oh, I just had to break it. Mm. This smells like the trees back home. But is it as good as fruits? Is it? Holman, is <laughs> it? <laughs> Your cannon workshop. Hold on, wait, no, true does not snack on people. Really? <laughs> Only we can get away with it. <laughs> Main question is how the fuck do I get back? Why do you want to go back? I have to warm myself up. Oh. Oh my. So I might have fucked myself and I trapped in this hole for all eternity. Repair. No. Rise. He is for squares like pants. Okay. Did you rent 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 at the game? Ancient energy stirred, reaching into the place beyond. Oh. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back. Already, it's only been a few millennia. <laughs> it's not wonderful to see light again, to feel sun. I was just getting comfortable in the howling void. 
Who are you two? Ooh, ancient ones. Thought you was a myth. <laughs> no, no, my little friend. We are very real. I'm a lump woman with nothing but rain! <laughs> No, you're not here imagining us. Go away now. Who can we do to help you? Lum, they could help us get to the dragon. But nothing is free in this market or in life. You must provide three offerings to the flame. Should we? If help human, if it make human happy, Lum say. Do it! Aww, Lump. So, what is this place? The market of the lost and the forgotten. Things end up here that have been cast aside or are no longer useful. Ah. After a time, so were we. No one came here. No one sought us. I thought we would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. Yes, but to give, we must also receive. I don't have money. Then give a kindness. Aww. Chu says he did not get his. Chu did not get his dragon. Three out of ten game so far. Charging me to get my dragon instead of giving for free. Two out of ten. <laughs> Bottom line is actually the sweetest thing. If I tell everyone about you, no one will ever forget you again. I'll yeah. tell everyone about you. No one will ever forget you again. How kind of you to say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Ah. Something dear to your heart. Elder Raven. Wait, I'm tossing my own soul into the fire. A wise person once said that no one ever got anything just by wanting it. Okay, you're right. Well, you heard him. Time to toss your grandma into the fire. And the pendant was gone in the flames. <laughs> Chew, what the fuck? Go away. E. I said go away. I need help. And what do you expect me to do about it? Go away. Fuck you. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Look. <laughs> now say something close to your heart. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? I trade in oblivion. I feast on memories. Oh. But you can still help me. Oh no. Someone's in a fire, too. <laughs> well, don't come complaining to me when there's a big dark hole in your head. What memory are you prepared to consign to the flames? Uh, I remember playing on the rooftops under the canopy. I remember Elder Ava giving me the word book. I remember Elder Ava's last hug. That's Ouch. probably that's probably a one we have to toss I in. Remember Elder Ava's last hug. No girl, don't give up your your memories. I already have one of my memories that's don't called my childhood. Don't no, work. not the hug. Don't remember never mind, never mind. Look, this thing can go on forever. The offering has been made. to go and they'll help me follow the dragon under the lake. 
he threw away two very important things. I, I feel like the revenge isn't worth it. Do you think they'd take another memory? The last offering must keep our fire burning. <gasps> no! A gesture of hope. No! 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 Don't offer love! And we've already given you something, so we're out. <laughs> No! No! Sure, I got numb. Who's barely paying attention? And even they went no. To help your friend. I'm not too sure what's going on. They're trying to get love to offer themselves to as a sacrifice. Everyone in chess <laughs> saying no except for Chu. I don't want you to do this, Lump. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Lump. Are you sure about this, Lump? No, I don't want you to do this, Lump. Lump, it's been real, Lump, but I've got a dragon to catch him. She doesn't care. I don't want you to do this, Lump. I know. But Lump decide this. Aww. You made promise to find Dragon. She says, I do care, Bright, about my dragon. I guess this is goodbye. Pika, you damn goodbye shit. For us. Hello for you and Dragon. As Little Lump jumped into the fire, the flames began to burn, larger and brighter. Um... Fuck you! Grace felt a change come over her. Slits opened in her neck. Gills! She can now breathe underwater. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> I'll never forget what you did. Unless you offer that memory up. To the lake. Follow the dragon. I guess. I don't think she feels up to it anymore. Yeah. Where once there was light was now darkness. Where there was noise, only cold silence remained. But she could not let Lump's sacrifice be in vain. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon. The lake oh. looked murky, but she had to brave its depths. <laughs> Chu says, your second verse not being vain, Lump. I promise that I will get that dragon. Got all 20! Yeah! Nice! I don't know what that gives you, but... Me either. Uh-oh. Up, oh, time to get into the pressing parts. It's, it's late at night. Oh, in the morning. Never mind. Oh no. Grand died. Okay. Died in the night. As if we weren't in the depressing parts already, though. Since book. Mom got the call a few hours ago. She's still crying. I just feel. It chooses. Well, that's that's emotional with flash. How is it emotional whiplash? 
It went from depressing to depressing. Gods, I wasn't expecting this. I warned you ahead of time, Moon. It, it, it was going to get depressing. <laughs> I tried to go back to sleep. But as soon as I close my eyes, the thoughts keep circling back. Okay. We... Grand I should have, during that night, should have, have been there. Yeah, been there. Inside the at Gray Hospital, in that horrible we bed, should alone. Have been there. It's true. I didn't feel sad earlier. I was thinking about my tr about the dragon at the time. We drove Fuck the these words. <laughs> this book. This poor Mom child. Said much. It seemed to take forever. I had to go through a similar thing. This is sitting really close to home. <laughs> I've never seen a dead body before. Oh god. Whee! It might be scary. It won't be scary. I've seen a heart surgery before. No, it's what was Grant. Grant's not in there anymore. Yeah. I see dead people's book. Bookworm, I didn't know you were a mortician. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed at home. I saw a dead body a month ago. Oh. Chew. When we finally arrived... I wasn't so sure about being there at all. We went up the stairs to room 305. Gran's room. Which species of Mom body was it? It says Chew. It uh, uh, says book, sorry. Uh, and asked me if I wanted to wait outside. I said, Yes. Some people would call it human, but I wouldn't. It was one of the most peaceful days of my life. <laughs> Jesus, true. Hello again, journal. I'm sitting in the waiting room, just rows of plastic benches in a sea of blue linoleum. And it smells like Ben's bottom cream. A little doodling should distract me from this dreary place. Yeah, this story is based off her emotions. That's I feel like I'm me. falling. Yeah, this is saying to be really hard. Dad had his arm Sorry, Brett. I'll be sure to mourn one of the two people responsible for my sisters treat me like this. Oh, I didn't know, Chu. I, I didn't know that. Was what... like this. I thought it was just a random person you found on the sidewalk dead. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm sorry, Chu. to cry. Anyone can cry all for child. They're strong. They're meant Moms are to people. know what to do. Yeah. Always. Her mom was one at one point someone else's child. Mm -hmm. I guess losing your own mom makes you feel like a kid again. 
the drive home was a quiet one again. It's silly, but I keep thinking back to Gran's favorite vase, the one Grandad gave her. I was running in the house, even though Gran had told me not to. Oh, just all I memories. still remember the noise of the vase smashing into little pieces. Gran was there in an instant. I just have to scare the waiter. I waited later. for her to shout. I was gonna have to scare the waiter. I felt lifted that day. She just looked sad. Uh, yeah, and that's fair. Somehow, that was worse. Gran wouldn't let me pick up the pieces. She found every single one and carried them into the kitchen. Oh, it was probably an urn. Sneaked in. With a tube of glue in hand. I think that goes up higher. Well, that looks like that goes together. Or does it? Oh. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and yeah, these two do go together. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. It's heading close to home, but I'm fine. I can handle it. It was a mess. I got glue everywhere. But Gran smiled when she saw the vase. She put it in the cupboard. Later, I found it again. Oh, it's in the trash can. When I asked her why she'd binned the vase, she smiled again. Gram always says... We can't hold on to memories. We can't hold on to those things. Things forever. We can't hold on to things forever. Let them live in your memories. She said she preferred to keep the vase like she remembered it. I don't think I really get that. I just miss Gran. <laughs> it was just Weakened it. That can happen, can't it? No. Maybe this is all my fault. It's I called an irrational feeling. Now everything is broken. And putting some blame on herself in some irrational way, it helps her feel better and cope. It makes her feel like she has more control than she actually does. Yeah, it's it's a heartache, a thing. Shouldn't have run in a house. House, not everything is broken. Oh yeah. Oh wait, Sayori said that. Why did I read that? <laughs> Gran could have read it. It might have helped. I could. No. I could have fixed. I'm sorry, I but the story can't. Fixed her heart. The story can't do that. Unless it's the Necronomicon. Really? I don't even know how to fix my story. It's a mess. Never got to finish my pain of Grandpa before he passed. Been trying so hard not to kick myself over it. I left 
grace That's to sink what Moon said. into cold, dark waters. She's completely alone. She left behind Put myself in a corner there. Her only friend. Should I be nicer to Grace? Okay. It wasn't Focus. a bit mean. That was a bit mean. How can I continue the story? How would she feel about this situation? Grace How would I feel? Fell Ambivalent mom had to stay so Grace could go on. No easy answers here. Lump cho chose to stay. Grace respects that. Or Grace should have stopped Lump. I'm not choosing justified. No. I'm torn between ambivalent and guilty. When I can't choose, I I have my Twitch chat choose for me. <laughs> Moon says guilty. Choose says ambivalent. So now it's up the book. Whatever book chooses is what goes. Guilty is probably more typical, but I'd say ambivalent. Well, I, I guess it's ambivalent. <laughs> Unless Cherry wants to hear it. Ambivalent. <laughs> We're guessing someone. No. Direct democracy is true. <laughs> this is probably near the end of the game. We probably gotta finish the story, then we'll have the journal thing, and then that'll be it. I haven't been like trying to explore, so that's probably why it's not taking more than five hours. Still, the water closing over her felt like death. Cold and terrifying. I think I'm gonna go to get noms and other stuff. Alright, see you, Jerry. This uh... feels so This girl's been refusing to work all evening. What the fuck is happening? Oh no. Works fine for me. Was that? Sucks for you. No I'm sorry. <laughs> to dwell on her lost friend. Grace had a dragon to find. Which way did it go? Uh, I this choose. One. All right. Another branching tunnel. The walls were closing in. Down here, I guess. Far too narrow for winged beasts. Did I guess wrong? A dead end. Oh, I knew it! Wrong tunnel! No. There must be a way. Fuck that. Oh, how do I get up there? Rise! Is this the right way? Or maybe here? I just don't know. I have no idea. Lump, but there was no lump there. No annoying little lump to complain. No charming lump to ask for advice either. The submerged tunnels flared outwards. A tangled mess of caverns and hollows, twisting and turning. Eyes. Rise. Man, that water pressure is really going to start getting to her soon. Delicious intent. I need to get out of here. 
Oh, there we go. Lumpus protecting her. Nope, the magic is protecting her. Lumpus, uh huh. You can do this, Grace. Okay. No! Gah! Don't we need to go down if the dragon's in the fucking water? I don't think breathing underwater protects sure. from water pressure, just oh, as all those divers who have died. <laughs> wow. Oh wait, they can't answer our question. No, Whoops. <laughs> you didn't have no. magic. Fuck right. the coral. <laughs> I'm a I'm in a true American. I destroyed coral. <laughs> Opens up the Necronomica. I have a dragon Fuck. to find. I have to find Shit. <laughs> no matter what. She spoke then those not. words. Deep in her heart, a seed of chilling doubt took root. So I'm not going to get 20 this time. Darkness, endless and all-consuming. It's cold here, robbed of sight. The pressure of the deep water on her chest. Her thoughts had only one way to go, inwards. What am I doing? I let Lump sacrifice herself for me. And for what? I don't even know where the dragon you are is. You were saying about you? Or where I am. I'm falling. I'm failing. I was I right. The village? Lump? All of them? Huh? Uh oh. What? Apparently, she wasn't that deep yet. Air? It's this way. Aha! That's not how the Abyssal Zone works. Repair. Okay, I can't repair anything. I need to find the dragon. No matter what. Repair. <laughs> Cold determination gripped her, numbing all other thoughts. Press forward. Behold my Get powerful magic. Oh no, she's losing her powers. Yeah, her words. There was just the way forward, barred by an indestructible metal door. No! I need to... need to... 
This is remaking look good. Oh shit, no more spells. No! The dragon. Grace could no longer ignore the seed of doubt. Ignore! Fuck your door! <laughs> Um, no matter what, the Seekin seemed friendly. Hey, have you seen the dragon? Wait. A host of them greeted her with curious chatter, warm and welcoming. Have you seen the dragon? Please. Ignore. 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 <laughs> Let me through. <laughs> Hollow and meaningless. We could get so much more power out of it. Hello, that moral has more. <laughs> well, we. Guess we'll never know. Oh shit! We're ignoring things now. <laughs> well, we can't ignore that. No lore. <laughs> Freezing cold blanketed Grace. There was comfort in its numbing embrace. Oh no, this is referencing death. She wished she could stay. Oh no. She did this. Is this my fault? It was her fault. Well, damn. The home. I... I didn't ignore hard enough. <laughs> Continue using my power if of ignore. No, some insects reminded me. Running and chew of how I watched the video. In a showcase, a diver trying to go to one of the most dangerous diving locations on Earth and somehow trapped at the bottom because he went, he went out alone out of hubris. Uh. No! What have I done? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Damn, Chew. I never wanted that this. poor guy. Oh, shit. Even though I'm not going to get 20, I want to try my hardest. Make all of them. The rest that are left. This is horrible. I didn't know. I should never have come. What would Elder Ava think of me? I'm so selfish. Oh, that's my last of my power of ignore. Yep. Ignore is gone. Guilt dogged her every step. You know, there's a lesson to be learned from that. Don't go in the ocean. Did you make me do this? It would not rest. It would not leave. It would not cease. Leave me alone. No remorse. Achievement unlocked. Damn. Must get away. Have to move. 
still talk to him. How about be eaten by a wolf? Please. Now, true, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Taco wants head pets. Give head pets. Shush. <laughs> the creature looked at her. As if it could see into her very soul. Under its stare, her fears crystallized like ice. She knew that she would be eaten. No, fuck you, you're not eating me. You're not eating my ass. Here, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Chew. I'm sorry. Would Grace embrace her guilt? Or run from it? Fuck, we're embracing this shit. At least I didn't die a bad person. Facing the beast. That was fast. That was yeah. Oh, wait. Hello, journal. Dear journal. Oh. Hi, journal. Shit. I've... Today, oh shit. Is that actually in the gate? <laughs> Coward. I just thought I messaged you. <laughs> Probably not, uh. Oh? Hello, stranger. I've been thinking a lot about... My dream is to become a writer. Yeah, right! A writer who can't even write. Damn. Okay. Find something simple to start with. What did I do today? Today I got up. I had breakfast. Thinking of Bran. Thinking of Bran. I tried watching the telly. That's it. I'm going back to bed. Hi, journal. Another day. Without Gran. Oh. Each time I wake up, for the tiniest of moments. It. It. Isn't. Isn't. True. true. But then it all comes rushing back. It is true.
Looking around my room, everything reminds me of Gran. Her puzzle box gift from last year. The magic tank we made during the holiday. Our yogurt pot robot. These paints Gran gave me. This pen. Even you, Jana. She is everywhere. Oh no, it's going it's going black and white. And all of it feels broken. Today is Ben's birthday. Dad baked a cake. He's rather good at it. Mum insisted that I come down and have some. It tasted like Nothing. Everything does. Poor girl. Mum said we need to send out invitations to the funeral. How can she think about that? She's ready to shove Gran into a box like a pet goldfish. Just the idea of it makes me feel sick. Oh, so it hasn't been that long. Yep. Then I stormed off into my room. Later, Dad came up for some well-meant Dad talk. I know you're sad, but it will get better. You'll see. Just give it time. I know he wanted to cheer me up, but he's wrong. Sure doesn't feel like that now. You don't know half of it. Time won't make. Time won't make Graham come back. The world feels very dark now. Graham has a proverb for times like these. Gram always says Always darkest before the dawn. Always darkest before the dawn. No. That's not right. That's what she would have said. If so. I keep thinking about all the things won't get to see. When I go to university, she won't be there. When I get my first job, she won't be there. If I get married, she won't Aww. be there. Even if that's unlikely because... Boys. I prefer cats. <laughs> I mean, I've heard weirder marriages. It already feels so bad. 
But how could I want that feeling to go away? Pets are better than boys. Sounds pretty gay. <laughs> how could I be fine? With Gran being gone? I'm going to have to feel like this. Yep. Big gay. <laughs> Kitty to the rescue! Thanks, Pinky. I can't stop crying. Surprised you would say that, Chew. Fed up with being used as a tissue, but she never leaves my side. She doesn't hate cats. I think that means she knows how Get sad back I am. to writing your story. I might as well. Pinky's got a point. I should at least try to write. I can't leave Grace like that. She's as lost as I am. Oh god, this is starting to look like the game Limbo. Where am I? You can leave Grace like that. Shh. A gray void surrounded her. Oh. Swallowing sound and hope. Hello? Well, there's Great words in the distance, but I can't read it. Moving. Then surely a Riot, solution would present a bra, itself. Riot, doubt. I saw doubt. I can't Is read that. Here? Anyone? Ng. In the emptiness around her. Trey. Trey, I think this was says. A palace. Hope. I. Village. I don't know what comes next. Ava. So cold here. So empty. Just nothingness. I Bread. can't find can't find the words. I'm never going to find the dragon. Or revenge. They won't come. The words just dragon. won't come anymore. I don't know where I Doubt. am. How to get out? Or even where I'm going. Pointless. What kind of writer can't find the words? I messed everything up. Let's try this again. Grace awoke under an old tree in an unfamiliar land. I don't know. I can do this anymore. She walked boldly ahead. A spring in her step. I'm so tired. Grace knew she just had to keep going. What's the point? Put one foot in front of the other. I've failed. It's over. Ages of three. She still had breath left in her body. There was still hope. This is all, all my, my fault. fault. I, sh I should just, just stop. stop. Alone. Broken. Useless. Hey, Grace. Be 
leave me. Just leave me. Psst. Here. Where? I don't see a thing. Whale shark. I'm right here. Always was, always will be. I don't understand. And I don't care. You don't? No. Just leave. I'm meant to be alone. Forever alone and useless. You know I'm right below you. I'm not good company right now. You don't need to be. Why don't you tell Definitely me how Ava. you came to be here? I... It sounds silly when I say it now. I lost a dragon. And now... I don't know what to do next. I'm completely lost as well. It's all gone terribly long. I am completely lost as well. Yes, you do look a little lost. That's not entirely helpful. You seem to think that it's wrong to be lost. Real turn was the friends we made and wrote along the way. <laughs> Everyone feels a little lost sometimes. I won't apologize for that. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Just wrong. I don't mind it, actually. Do you? Well, yes. I usually know what to do and where to go. So, if someone else were lost, what would you tell them to do? I tell them to not worry so much. Just Continue on until the solution appears. How about taking your own advice? Okay, that makes sense. If I had a landmark, I could orientate myself by it. Let me see if I can help you out there. Patience. I like listening to you. Would you continue? You do? Oh. Well, okay. It's just... I feel so weak I can hardly move. Excuse me right now. I completely messed everything up. I feel so weak. I can hardly move. That's okay. It's not. People are relying on me. But you're still human. You still tire. We all do. It doesn't feel that way. I'm tired. Tired of trying. Tired of failing. Tired of everything. You need a rest. But I can't! I don't have time! Why? I can't let the dragon get away with what it did to my village. That sounds like quite a tiring thing to do. Well... Yes. <sighs> Want to take a rest together? That sounds nice. Okay. Oh yeah, now inside the story it's really fucking depressing. What, what happened? 
she wouldn't write for a while because she was unliking about having the funeral outright immediate and not long after passing and everything. She's going through stages of grief, basically. Okay. There's something I want to ask you. Go on. It's... It's difficult. I'll wait. I have no idea what to do now. I'm not sure I even see the point in continuing anymore. I'm not sure I even see the point in continuing anymore. Could you help me find my purpose again? I just don't know what to do next. But at some point you knew, right? You had purpose, hope. Yes. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I had to stop the dragon. Return the fireflies. Save the village. And you couldn't do those things? I tried. But I just ended up doing everything wrong. Everything? Are you sure about that? Well... Think back. Okay. Maybe not everything. Go on. I guess I did get a grumpy gin to open up a bit. Mm-hmm. Well then, that's something. I want to know one more thing. You sound a lot better. I do? I guess I feel better. Well then, time to set course. It's nice of you to listen to me. Any time. So, anything else? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What were you trying to do before you got here? I was trying to find a dragon. It destroyed everything I loved. I can't just let it go. I need to make things right again. But I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. What did you do last time? Last time I what? Found a dragon. What? I've never found one before. Then how can you expect to know exactly what to do? I guess I can't. But I want to. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. You've got to try. You've got to fail sometimes. Mm -hmm. You have a point. Right now, it's something. What? This is where I leave. Why are you riding but a shark whale? I... A whale shark? You're not alone. This is where the area of the story is at, alone. basically. Be kind to yourself. I think it represents despair. Because everything turns black and white. And there's a lot of words like broken, useless, doubt, plastered everywhere. When I think of a shark whale, I think of a giant shark mom. Can I do this? Yes. Be your own light in the darkness. I got saved by a Blaha. She is not Blaha. <laughs> Blaha is a white shark. She is a whale shark. Chu says shark whales aren't real. Says Chu. Here we go. 
Dark whales are real, and they are older than great whites. Oh, look. She's staying out of despair now. Look. It's color. The, the shimmer of hope. She went Hi, unlocked. Jano. Oh. The funeral was today. Mom and Dad dressed all in black. They even bought a black romper for Ben. I didn't want to wear black. Is there black, black like a sign of respect or something? Oh. That life was... Whoops. Dark enough already. Gran always used to say... Music? Wait, no. Nature? No. Colors are the music of nature. Colors are the music of nature. I'm starting to see what she meant. So I went to open my wardrobe. There it was. I hadn't worn it for years. Yeah. I remember Gran saying it was... Cheery. The funeral was outside. In the memorial garden. The sun was shining. The birds were singing. Oh no, we're going to Undertale Sands. I'm sorry. It was like... They didn't know. Oh, I see Chu's message. He responds cheery. No, they aren't. I know about whale sharks, though. When Uncle Alan stepped into the fish pond. Mom frowned. Ben started crying. Uncle Alan yelled. I couldn't help Everyone but looked. imagine. Cran caring more about the fish than Uncle Alan. Sands ain't shit, I beat him. And kids like her should be burning <laughs> God damn. The picture stuck in my head. Gran running to the drenched Uncle Alan. Grumbling at him for frightening the fish. It was too much. The laughter bubbled up inside me. Tad tried to look annoyed. Ah. But I caught him smiling. <laughs> After the vicar finally finished droning hey, calm, on, Izzy. we Breathe. started the singing. All things bright and beautiful. Full. Ben started wailing. No, howling. Dad took him out. Well played, Ben. <laughs> the laughing felt much better than crying. The wake was Dad. an hour place. Ben took out the baby. That's there true. were so many people. I didn't know most of them. Everyone said how sorry they were. How Gran was. Such a wonderful lady. Barbara was inquisitive. I wish she could have heard them. The whole world interested her. She was open and kind. 
Fuck, I can't go up there. Oh wait, I know how to do it. I just have to die to get up there. Even if sometimes you'd rather she didn't. Wait. She'd always paid attention to you, even sometimes if you'd rather she didn't. They they broke the mold when they made bar. Everyone had a story about Gran. <laughs> it's, it's like she... the time she hit a bully with her pencil box? Or when she saved a toad that had hurt its leg? Or how she decorated Mum's room like an underwater kingdom, so she could feel like a mermaid. That's so like her. One old lady told me how they used to bunk off work and go to the Glastonbury Music Festival. Another of her friends said Gran once... Even party with Van Morrison. I don't know who that is. Then Mom covered my ears. Got arrested! While protesting <laughs> wailing! It'd be great. <laughs> I expected this day to be terrible, Journal. And it was. But I didn't expect to smile or laugh. To be surprised? To feel happy? That people loved Gran, like I did. <laughs> Each time I heard a story about Gran, I could imagine her laughing along with it. It was like she was there with me, helping me through it. Oh, I, I still feel in pieces, Journal. Maybe there's a part of me that will always be sad. That will always miss her. But maybe that's okay. And that's the way it should be. I don't know what happens after we die. But I think I know where we go. Into all the people who have ever cared about us. We make really this true of an app reference. For them in our hearts. And sometimes when could people die, nobody story. misses them, I should. Gran would want me to. Tears. I want me to. I think I know what to do now. Yeah. Let's summarize. After the dragon attacked her village, the playful Grace set out to return the fireflies. Well, now I don't have to tell you travels, what happened, Jerry. She met a grumpy djinn guarding a fallen city of philosophers and found 
a misunderstood fire creature named Lump. They became friends. But then, Lump needed to stay behind with the Ancient Ones in exchange for the gift of water breathing. Deep under the water, inside the lost Seekin Palace, chased by the shadow of remorse, Grace had her big moment of doubt. But she pulled through it all. Ready. Yeah, let's go. And now she is ready to face the dragon. Let's beat the dragon's ass. And hide on away from Chu forever. <laughs> Chu, no, in chat. To be fair, you're going to beat the dragon, not bang him. Just pretend I never said that. Uh, we need to clip that. You. No! <laughs> I couldn't face myself. I know you'll always get right. Maybe that's okay. You're part of this adventure. Part of me. Chooses. I mean, there's Thank time and space for you. both to take place. Ah, uh, 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 the Jerry Burt montage. That's the don't. I will get my revenge. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm coming for you, dragon. With her confidence Raising. renewed, a newfound power coursed through her. I feel like I can do... Anything! And now I got all my powers back. Yeah. Right! Light the feather! I think spiritually we're all coming for the dragon. <laughs> no, not rise. Repair! Like cutting through. 40? Eldorado's crab apple pie. The world welcomed her. She felt that she could touch oh, the shit. sky. Oh shit. I died. <laughs> she felt that she could touch the sky. I definitely see one un under there. Oh well. You're not even gonna try to get all of them, are you? I already missed up on two times, so... Uh, oh! Like, with the uh, previous ones, like, if there was an achievement for getting all of them, overhead. it's too late. Many moons had shone above since first it was built. Another obstacle! Ha! Oh, there's no hope. But there is burn! Yeah, I have the power of fire. She doesn't need hope anymore. After what I've been through, you really think that will stop me? That's true, Bo. Very much true.
Ah. Repair. Don't even... Yeah, you can't even get that... Oh, wait, yeah, you can. I didn't see that you can go under. Gotta keep going, so I can beat and maybe bang the dragon. You're not banging the dragon, you're playing a child. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Hi. No, we're beating the dragon and choose banging the dragon. That's better. <laughs> I'm not the dragon, I'm the snake. <laughs> Pika has a uh, dragon hun. We are saying that... Ooh. Well, not two, but... <laughs> she says, well, I'm not a child and I am going to bang the dragon. I'm sure you're going to bang the dragon hard enough to destroy the world. Wait, I got a message from Bookworm. Did he? Did Yoshi clean? Uh, do it? Did Bookworm do it? <laughs> yes! Bookworm. <laughs> Bookworm clipped you! What? <laughs> the, the beating and banging thing. Oh. So got the power to ignore them. Must be used for for something. Yeah. Grab it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, like my person. There's, there are behaviors in the game for you to, to ignore. Efforts. Yeah, like my personal issues is help for them for those. Chew. No. As she rose up the stairs. This game. Lightbringer, achievement unlocked. 
Will you go up the stairs? Grace knew the tower's purpose. To watch over a long forgotten lamp, should ancient evil stir. No statue this time, but bone. The dragon in its fire wreathed home, waiting. Dragon's got scoliosis. There you are, and here I don't think you need to burn. Oh, I missed one. Such a good idea, and it was a great idea. Ignore Woo! my power of ignore. I'll ignore every problem that comes my way instead of facing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> ah, yes, ignoring the danger. Perfect right. system. Right, you're not easy, you're an adult woman. Yeah. <laughs> she was <just> white. <laughs> the world darkened around. Grace. She had reached the dragon's mountain. Put ignore away. No, I refuse. Time, See? No I needed ignore. She knew she had all my souls. I needed ignore. Before her, a molten sea stretched into the distance. It did not slow her down. I control I the power. The face of lava. I control lava. Rise. The stone penis, rise. Right, that's not a penis. <laughs> We both know there is none with a head shaped like that. Suddenly, it chooses not with that attitude. <laughs> oh, I was told G and R, so I thought that word was grave at first low. <laughs> Bookworm bonked both of us. Said, a cold dread crept up her spine. No bonkers, chill. <laughs> I agree with the bonking. Oh, look. Firefly. Wee. And I fall to. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to get on top of the rock. you right. <laughs> Made it. Right? Alright, it's not a penis, Wee. it's a stone dildo. No! <laughs> Why can't you just remember that you're playing a child instead of thinking with your adult brain? I'm not a child in this be. game. I'm an it's adult that has I'm a mind. Saying you're playing a child. <laughs> I, I am an adult with a mind of a child. No. Eldereva. No. Wait! Come back! Oh, no! No, no! He passed away. Only emptiness remained. Only emptiness remained. Can you repair it? Repair? Nope. Ignore! Uh, burn! Right. Rise. Yep. Repair. Uh. Right. Right. Oh. It's already broken. Her thoughts raced ahead of her. 
Oh, we just had to go this way. <laughs> this can't be real. A trick. I can't let it be real. Job right. <laughs> she gripped the chain with furious determination. Beat the dragon's ass and f and to help Chu stop with their horniness. I know you're there. Maybe they're like Pika. Maybe they enjoy getting beaten. Raz. Raz. Torn between rage and regret. Both of y'all shush. That's a yes. Uh, <laughs> this is book. Oh, fuck. That's right. Uh, there we go. Oh, fuck! The rise thing is really hard to control. Especially with the camera angle. God damn it! You can- you can go- oh, I guess you don't want me to do the easy way. I literally could have just floated over. It didn't want you to. Break the shit. Prepare. Burn. <laughs> no. I would laugh if it actually let me burn it. <laughs> Grab that. Even through everything must burn. Fire! No. This, is, this is book. And without. Break! Fuck Her your shit. Her shone bright. She had grown. Oh, we're back here. Oh, we don't go that way. We are now in Egypt. This is not Egypt. Oof. Fuck your statues. Like I said, this is not Egypt. That we know of. More like Middle East somewhere. It would, it would make sense considering it, it takes saying thousands of episodes to find. <laughs> what, is, what if the dragon is also secretly the one? Person? Oh, I, now I see. What? Thousands of episodes to find it? <laughs> really, Chew? Chilling winds shook her to the bone. Still, she climbed. But no matter, I will 
fucking beat the living fuck out of this dragon and get all the fairies back. Oof, oof. Yeah. I think they're called fireflies. I'm calling them fairies because oh I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bug no. lives matter, though. Let me through. Bug and lives let me matter. This. <laughs> that needs to be quoted. Bug lives matter. Glad we're on the Without bugs, everyone would die. She says, for every five minutes that I don't have every my dragon, strike. I'll break one vase in your house. Because well, I don't does. have any vases, so fuck you. You want to find some <laughs> Crocker voice fairy godparents. Oh, fine, TV's then. <laughs> Alright, then, uh, Chu, state my exact address if you know Define where I'm at. Unwavering. One step <laughs> after the other. Sets five minute timer and <laughs> You want to dox you live. That's I must return to haunt you. <laughs> the return. I tell you something, you fucking hurt. Don't go. Don't have to, Grace. But we'll always be there in the memory. I'll make sure to keep you there. Goodbye, little lump. You know what I'm starting to think? I wonder what? if each time with the story, it's one of the stages of grief. Hmm. Why are you going backwards? I couldn't go forward. Oh. Well, maybe now I can, because the wind is pushing. I should go forward. Rise. Oh, rise. That's right. Did you not see the glowing thing on the ground? No. <laughs> I did not. Block was covered in snow. Oh, that's right. I did not get surprised that I'll beat this game in one stream. What makes it a lot easier to me for planning it, it in May? I don't have to worry about this game. Yep, there's a giant fucking block right here. <laughs> Someone bunked bright for me. I'm trying to save channel points back up. <laughs> what are you saving channel points for, Pika? I mean, Chew. What are you saving them up, Chew? Are you saving it up so Bright has to make an SCP Furby? Don't you fuck. That would track. take years. Here I Whatever I feel like in a certain come. moment. Finally. Wait, we haven't Grace done something in a while. Oh no. For a confrontation. What's Bookworm gonna do? Uh. What's Bookworm gonna do? Just a shrimping impulsive uh, and loose based on high impulses sometimes. <laughs> really? The scare break. Hurt her village. But now she realized that, regardless of how her adventure ended, the journey had forever changed her. <coughs> Stop. 
Standing there, she felt... Calm. Calm. A wonderful sense of serenity had washed over her. She was at peace with her choices. She no longer feared the darkness. Unless it's a TV in another room. Uh, well, I don't hear any TVs breaking. I am here to do what must be done. An echo wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't. That's a big eyeball. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, Chu, it's your boyfriend. <laughs> there you go, Chu. You destroyed my village. You will pay for your actions. Might be too small for the dragon, Chu. Punish the wind for blowing or the sun. If they threatened my village, yes! You cannot win this battle. Be gone! My power of ignore! Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> It's just I had the perfect size for the dragon. Even dragons fade. Ponder this elsewhere. Rise, bitch. Fuck you. Should I come here to talk? Burn, bitch. Sometimes things just end. Yeah, I feel like he's talking like death. Ignore, bitch. You want to end this world? You're going to have to go through me. Chu came here to yes. breathe. I mean, fight. <laughs> sure, Chu. Like this, uh, alright. Do you really want to do it? Destroy this world? Fireflies, what are they really? Where does their power come from? I store it. It's already dying, isn't it? Oh shit. Alright. Uh, Jiri, uh, chat, vote. One, two, or three. It's already dying, isn't it? Alright. Let's face it, you're probably one of the few people left alive there. Jiri says three. Moon says two. So it's one one right now. The fireflies are the already dying one. Well, before you have to choose, you can't choose two questions. <laughs> I pick three, Moon picks two, Bookworm picks both. <laughs> yeah, but I'm torn between them. He could be the tiebreaker. <laughs> I'm going to say the, an original one, but I don't know if that's a good idea. 
You can't pick an original one. You have to pick one of the ones on the screen. Yeah, punch. <laughs> Probably three because you didn't get all the fireflies. There. Well, you can't control me. <laughs> You can't hurt me! I did not aim for you. Ouch. Dragons destroy my computer. Acceptance. This is acceptance the final part of uh the Doesn't this technically murder her? No, she's immune to it. Well yeah, but if the if the world is destroyed, there's nothing for her to live on. Well, therefore she dies. Again. Now she's gonna be upset because the dragon's gone. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. The end? Achievement, <laughs> no! You fucking monsters! <laughs> what happened? A world re reborn. It's all gone, I'm afraid. It can't be just gone. Why couldn't I do anything? Why couldn't I save it? There was nothing to be done. Everything has a time to go. If you are sorry, then give me back my giant dragon lover. the fireflies ancient energies born of the same cycle between you them and your book <laughs> you'll work it out wait what do you mean
come back. Please come back. No idea if I'm even going forward. There is only one place left to look. Ah, the book. Astoria was gone, but the fireflies still remained, waiting for a new beginning. You're... you're rebuilding the world, aren't you? And you're starting with my memories. Maybe you're not trying A hard enough. Fruitful work. <gasps> Blum's back. Love the giant fire woman again. Of home. I've run out of fireflies. We're stuck. There's still something missing. Hey. You're still here, Firefly. Can you help? That's it, Firefly. Now you're ready for a new story. And I have to say goodbye, too. Thank you, Firefly. Oh, <laughs> and they die. That's it. I think you're supposed to go to bed. Nope. Oh! I... never thought I'd see you again. But you're not really here, are you? What the fuck? You... You didn't make it. You knew, didn't you? That you wouldn't? Well, I have three grannies. <laughs> That's where the firefly came to me. They knew too. So, these are my memories of you. That's where you live now, isn't it? Within me. I'll Poor ghostly you. grannies. I can take this. That that's fair. I think this is a bit of a stupid ending. Only one thing left to do. Open a haunted mouse attraction says shoe. Always. Yeah, I think all all parts Let's of the stories were supposed to represent you know, stages of grief. Yeah. And this being acceptance, which is the final step, I think.
Oh, that was that little girl's way of grieving. I'm sure that's some people's way of grieving. That's not mine. Right. Hello, journal. So I don't know how to start like this. Let's see. Reading these dusty pages makes me feel old. I reread them so many times as a kid, taking myself back to those dark moments, reassuring myself it would all be okay. And that helped. Are you reading this as an adult? You helped. Maybe. I still miss Gran every day. Sometimes I hear her laugh in the back of my mind. Abby reminds me of her. Insatiably Abby. curious and fiercely independent. I hope she never loses that. Oh, she's Mom's a mom now. Going to live with us for a bit. I hope her and Abby are going to make some memories of their own. They're already both obsessed with cat videos and Insta Snap. <laughs> cat videos and Insta Snap. They combine Snapchat, Snapchat, and Instagram. <laughs> Abby's birthday is coming up. Maybe I'll get her a journal of her own. She says she wants to be a writer. Bright, I need to get ready to go to bed. Alright, good night, Jerry. What? Huh? I said good night. You said Jay. No, I didn't say Jerry. You said Jay. I'm pretty sure I said Jerry. I heard Jay. <laughs> uh Aww. A journal. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know. This book. I'm just going to assume I heard what I heard, and right talking to me said good night, Jenny. I said I, I swear I said Jerry. Sure. Good night, Bright. Good night, Jerry. Or should I call you a Jerna? Or should I say good night, Jerry? <laughs> I'm sorry. New April Fool's prank just dropped, where I just go. This game is, is brought to you by today's sponsor, Rain Shat. <laughs> just kidding, that might be too far. Fireflies! No! 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 Shit, shit, shit. I might be able to... Fuck! I missed. Oh well. <laughs> we missed two of them. Yeah! <gasps> Lump! Uh, these two fuckers. 
<laughs> who took Clump away from us. Let the streamer play for me, fuck you. <laughs> oh, it's the weird fish people. Counting. <laughs> they took my dragon away from me. I'm still upset. Who's who's me, dragon? Uh, not dragon. Chew. God damn, you make me mess up my words. Chew. Who's me? Trying to be smug and ended up messing it up too. Karma <laughs> works quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's continuing. <laughs> God damn it, phone. Dragon and Jew mixed up who's next. <laughs> Shit, shit, how do I get down? How do I get down and get this? Come on. Yeah! Boy <gasps> fish! My favorite fish, because they're so pretty. Lost words production babies. In loving memory, chains. Backler. From her father Terry, who taught me the importance of grandmothers, and Eileen and Jean, who showed me. Who showed me? Ah. No, me. No, me and the dragon in this game did not get mixed up. That's what I'm upset about. Thank you and apologies for anyone who has helped out over the years in any way who we may have missed. It's a whale! The Marbles! If you want more from Sketchbook, please follow us on social media at Not Lost Words Game. Thank you for putting Lost Words beyond the page. Achievement unlocked. Token of appreciation. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um. Where our last words go? I'm supposed to be doing my homework throughout all this. Whoops. Oh no, Moon. Oh no. It was a good game. I got distracted. <laughs> it was a good game.
Remember, 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 Remember viewers, well, the game may be over, our time special doesn't have to be. Like, subscribe, and follow Bright for more content. <laughs> yeah, that's no offense, but yeah, it's bookworm. It, the freaking, uh, uh, like, freaking alert thing goes double for some unknown goddamn reason. Do you have two audio source sources for the alerts? No. Just one, I think. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Bookworm, try it now. Try doing some doing a, doing a thing in talks text to speech. Or one of the alert things. No, I'm not sure if this is what's causing it. If it is, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. No, it's still doing echo. It's still doing echo. So it's not that. Yeah, it got worse. I don't know what's causing that. So many toasters. I have I have done nothing. We're all toasters now. <laughs> No, this is Patrick. <laughs> anyway, so I decided instead of just leaving, we just go raid a nice trans streamer. So yeah, I will see you guys over there and hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on your next mission. Oh, and uh, our words are the danger noodles have arrived. That's what we're going to say. Let me raid. The danger noodles have arrived. Three, two, one. Is anyone there? Eight, nine. Hey, the great Dr. Bright. Thank you for the raid. Hi, raiders. Alright. That's seven, eight. 